Welcome guys um, to my other let's play. No, it's not Don't Starve. Clearly it's not Don't Starve if you watch that intro that I posted earlier. Um, this is Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Um, for those who haven't heard of it, shame on you. Um, now I'm not gonna lie, this is the first time I'm playing it. I've heard a lot of interesting good things about it and whatnot. Um, I will warn you though, the content of the game is gonna be kind of PG-13R-esque. The intro kind of gave warning to you, I guess, but there will be some content here and there. Um, so if you're kind of iffy on it, by all means, you don't need to watch it. I'm not forcing you to. Uh, for those who are going to stick around, we are in for a treat. I have not played this one, so we are going to see how things go. Um, so with that, we are going to get going. Um, so let's hit play and get this bad boy going. Um, oh. Yes, I should be quiet. I bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel is allowed. Oh, I mean, he's out. Yeah, if he ever comes back, I'll tell him. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Good morning. The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. Let me know when you want your messages. Yeah. Gee, you're lively. Did you have another nightmare last night? Sort of. Mm-hmm. I told you it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw up your karma. I'm sure that's it. Maybe I should write a horror novel on passive resistance instead. <sighs> so don't sleep. It's your body. Anyway, your handheld tape recorder came today. Really? Great. I can't wait to see what human rights you violate with this one. I can't wait to violate them. For example, if you would just let me... And I located some local voodoo references for you. Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps. Like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. Well, if you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. All that intro. All the way to... Um, so one thing I should get out of the way, I'm not going to do any voices. Um... I'm terrible at it. I'm not gonna put people through that torture. So I'm gonna let the lovely voice acting do it. There's some fantastic cast if you haven't, didn't see the intro. Um, Jim Cummings, um, crap, I know his name. Curryness. Um, Tim Curry is in it too if you've, he's playing the lovely great Gabriel Knight. It's, it's different. Uh, and a couple other really good voice actors. So I will by all means let them do the voice acting. One thing I'm gonna get out of the way though, um, of course, this is our lovely menu. For those people who have never played an old-school point-and-click adventure game, um, there are different symbols. The walk, the nook, the question, talk. Most of those are the same. We'll question talk. The pick up items. Um, I think that's combine, push a button, open the door. Um, he's got a tape recorder as well, so you can kind of listen to the tapes. Um, the Gabriel is carrying nothing. Your inventory, which clearly Gabriel is not carrying anything. Your points. Um, these are kind of like trophies, I guess, for all those people who've never played an old school point and click and know about achievements and trophies and that. Um, in every old school point and click adventure game, there will be points, and it's just how much you've completed the game. Um, this is my first time playing, so I'm not gonna go gun ho on the points. I want to sit down and enjoy the stor story. Um, I'm also gonna look at those the snake and the lion. The lies, eyes light up, you know. 
Um, and also, question marks, it just explains the icons. It's the open close. Move icon. Oh, move. I was wrong. Oh, operate. Oh, good to know. Uh, pick up. The nook. The talk. The ask. Oh, ask. Okay. The walk. Does nothing on the lion. Um, but we'll just put that over his noggin right now. Um, and, you, and then also the control panel on that. So let's go control. Um, these are our settings. I'm going to increase the speed. Uh, not too much. Um, sound, text. Uh, narrator voice. I'll keep it the same, but the text I want on. Um, just because I will be going voice acting. I wouldn't mind having subtitles at the bottom for those people who prefer that. And of course, we are going to do as all Sierra Games recommend, we will save often. I did a test video, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to ignore that and we're going to go, Ooh. and that's our file. Um, so yeah, save often, save a lot, because many things can happen in point and click adventures. Some are less forgiving than others if you don't pick up certain items in that. I'm hoping this one's not. But right now, let's explore this lovely shop. And it seems like they have a relationship, possibly. Um, we'll find out. Let's go get this Grace started. keeps her art supplies here. Good to know. It's art supplies. <laughs> Three snakes in a skull. Gabriel's part of painted. What a wacky, offbeat kind of guy Daddy was. Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't look like a snake right now. It looks more like a rope and the skull. I wouldn't see the three skulls, or s snakes, pardon. Um, but anyway, let's check out the screen. The curtain doesn't provide much privacy, but Gabriel's really in his bedroom doing shop hours anyway. Good to know. Um, let's check out this in front of us. Cute gargoyle, eh? Uh, kinda. Um, too, too pixely, but... I'm going to assume it's a dragon. Uh, let's go look at the cashier. Gabriel looks at the cash register, checking for cobwebs. Oh, <laughs> that's not a good sign. Um, what's this green thing? It's an ash tree. Oh, you don't see those very often in buildings anymore. Grace likes the little banker's lamp. She has the soul of an accountant. So she does not like the fact that the cashier is pretty empty of the till. <laughs> the books on the desk all need repair work. That's a lot of books. All medical reference texts are stored on an upper shelf. Real old. So basically don't use those to save people. Gotcha. The books on that top shelf include mysteries and other pulp novels from the 50s and 60s. Groovy. Okay. <laughs> Under the window are reference books, dictionaries, foreign language dictionaries, quotation books, and others. Gabriel borrows them often when he's writing. Oh, so he's a writer. That is good to know. Um, let's check out this pig statue. Gabriel plans to turn the balcony into a schmaltzy cafe. If he ever gets the cash. So it's a slow business. <laughs> And his books don't sell well, apparently. The books on the table have been chosen for their special appeal. Recent fiction by the big In other words, nothing written by Gabriel. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> um, there's newspaper here. Today's newspaper is on the counter. Okay, fine. Blessed caffeine. Yes, very blessed. I don't drink coffee, though. So, yeah, anywho. The book rack contains cookbooks, true crime, and puzzle books. An inspired combination. I, I do enjoy cooking and solving crimes and doing my puzzles all at the same time. Uh, what's this shelf here? The top shelf contains a set of German books that once belonged to Gabriel's grandfather. Cool. Let's look at this lampshade. The chandelier. chandelier is original. Gabriel finds its charm. All right, all right. <laughs> he can't afford to replace it. Aww. Um, I think I've looked at everything. Well, I haven't looked at the door. The front door leads to Bourbon Street. Okay, so we're in New Orleans. I, I hope. I could be wrong. Um, let's go look at the jackets. Dramatic, isn't it? Gabriel didn't eat for three weeks after splurging on that coat. <laughs> he has a thing for black leather. 
Do I break it to him? It doesn't look like black to me. It looks more like a green. <laughs> and let alone, I don't think I would ever do that to myself. St. George books could use some serious renovation, but Gabriel likes to think that the place has character. Okay, good to know. Um, so I think we've gotten a look at everything, I believe. Um, so let's go bug. Well, let's, let's, let's pick up some objects. I want to pick up... Let, let's get some... My cap kidney's already floating, thanks. Okay, clearly he's had coffee. I guess he did, yes. Let's pick up the newspaper, see what's happening. Times Pickle Hume, dated June 18, 1993. The front page has an article about the voodoo murders. The article says that the victims are all identified as members of the underworld. The general public of New Orleans is in no danger. Police claim the so-called voodoo trapping found at the crime scenes are fake, a scare tactic, and that the murders are not associated with any genuine practitioners. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope for the day. Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution, and do not get involved with anything new at this time. Mm -hmm. Right. Good to know. And, and I got a point. Um, that little chime usually symbolizes when you get a point. So look, I got a point. Ah, one point out of 341 points left to go, peeps. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Um. So let's. Yeah, I looked at the. I haven't looked at these. So let's kind of look. The magnifying glass is a handy item for reading old manuscripts or the fine print on Gabriel's leaf. Well, good thing he reads his fine print. Um, There's a pair of tweezers on the counter. Grace uses them for book repair work. Alright, well, let's pick them up. I feel like they're going to be handy at some point in the game. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. No problem. Also, I'm not gonna lie, um, with Sierra games, they usually have the crown. I, well, King, King's Quest games have the crown. I'm kind of missing it. I don't know if I like the shield. I can't really put the shield on people. I, I'm gonna well, take the kinda. tweezers for a bit. Good. You're beginning to look a little scruffy. Just trying to make you feel at home. Okay, um, let's see if I can pick up her art box. Gabriel wouldn't dare touch Grace's oil paint. Okay, so we don't touch the oil paintings. Um, let's see if we can go behind this curtain. If Gabriel took that down, the customers have to look at his messy studio. No, um, let's try picking up the ashtray. Gabriel doesn't need the ashtray. Okay, apparently he does need the ashtray. Good to know he does smoke, from what I know. Gabriel's had all those books in the bathroom and doesn't care to read them again. Well, I'm glad he reads in the My bathroom. kidney's already floating, thanks. Right, he had his coffee. Um, let's try grabbing his coat. It's a bit warm in here. Gabriel decides to wait until he leaves to put on his coat. Okay. Um, any of these books I can pick up? It looks like I can. He's walking over there. Gabriel leaves through a German-English dictionary. Let's see. Mid-tag means midday noon. Good to know. Um. Gabriel Spiel means game. Interesting. Okay, we're learning our German. See what else Gabriel we can go through. Leaves through a Himmel means heaven. Uh huh. Okay. Gabriel leaves dry means three. Cool. Anything else? Gabriel Possessed means possessed. That's handy to know. I guess. Give Drachen means dragon. I wonder if Mosley would know he was being insulted if I called him Drachen bread. <laughs> Give. Let's see. Mid -tag. Okay, so we're back to the loop. Okay, that's pretty funny. Um, we've checked out these books. I wonder if you can pick up the painting. Is that possible? Gabriel can't love okay, the painting no. round. He he can't put them in his pants. Can we pick up this? Gabriel isn't interested in the books on the rack. Can we pick up the gargoyle? The gargoyle is heavier than it looks. Okay. Uh, can we pick up 
the desk is too heavy to be moved. Can you pick up the cash register? It's certainly light enough. But rather useless, as Gabriel well knows. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can try picking up. Um, let's talk to, um, I'm guessing girlfriend assistant, maybe? Um, let's get some questions out of her. There's no one in that part of the shop to talk to. But she's right here. What? Okay, I, I misclicked Got apparently. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Oh, that's nice. It's nice to see their faces. He, he's definitely scruffy and, yeah. Um, let's ask about the voodoo. Well, yeah, let's have voodoo. What can you tell me about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop, the museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. Uh, I guess the voodoo murders, which we already know what some about. What do you about. know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the paper, same as you. Um, yeah, oh, that's right, New, New Orleans. Um, What yeah. can you tell me about New Orleans? Well, I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. Um, I guess we'll start bugging about herself. Tell me about yourself, Grace. Yeah, right, mate. I mean it. What do you want to know? Uh, how can I be... Yeah. How come we haven't gone out yet? Well, I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know. What do you do after work? Well, I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You know, you can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books, and it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. Oh, let's just give the payment off issues. How old, are you? <laughs> old enough to know about men like you. Just tell me anything at all. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. Just tell me anything at all. I came to New Orleans because I'd read so much about it, and I thought, you know, spending a few months here would clear my head. Just tell me anything at all. I've always wanted to do something really adventurous, you know? Something real life. I'm sick of libraries and lecture halls. Just tell me anything at all. My folks are traditional Japanese. I don't even remember Japan myself. I was three when I came to the States. Just tell me anything at all. I've been studying Tai Chi for ten years. It's a very spiritual discipline. I'm sure discipline of any sort isn't something that would appeal to you, Gabriel. <laughs> Just tell me anything at all. My folks want me to get married to a boy back east. Mark Kobayashi. His parents are traditional Japanese too. I might eventually, but right now... <laughs> Just tell me anything at all. I came to New Orleans because I'd read so much about it and I thought, you know, spending a few months here. So I think we're just back on a loop again. Let me double check just here. Just tell me. I've been studying Tai Chi for 10 years. Yeah, okay. We're well, back basically at a loop. Um, so it sounds like they're not really in a relationship. She's just working here and not getting paid for it. Yay. Um, so I guess that's it. Nothing, I guess. Never mind. Sit yourself. All right, we'll get to the messages and that in the next video. I'm actually going to cut off here. Um, this one, this last play will go for long periods of time um but thank you so much for watching and before i forget um there will be a black mouse icon kind of in the middle of the screen for certain things i if you notice in the intro um i don't know how to get rid of that with the um, recording on dustbox that if anybody knows how to get rid of that please let me know um but thank you all for watching 
Um, please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Um, you guys have a good day, and I will see you next time. Bye.